All right, so today's lesson is 8.1, Introduction to Probability. So all of Chapter 8 has to do with probability. Probability has to do with what is your chance of winning or losing a game. So an experiment is an activity involving chance. An example would be like rolling a die or flipping a coin or playing rock, paper, scissors. That's an experiment. Trial is each time um, to try an experiment. So like if I roll the die here, that is a trial. That's the first trial. Then I roll it again. That's the second trial. Every time I roll the die, it is a trial. The outcome is the result. So now here is a trial, and the outcome was a 6. If I roll it again, that's a trial, and the outcome is a 3. If I roll it here, I, there's a trial, the outcome is a 6. Just like if I flip a coin, flipping it once, that's the trial, the outcome is a heads. If I flip it, that's a trial, the outcome is heads. So complement is a set of all outcomes that are not the event. The key word here is the not. Okay? So, example, rolling a two and not rolling a two are complement events. So, just like if I said the complement, you rolled a six, the complement would be not a six. Okay? If I flipped a coin and landed on, on tails, the complement would be not tails. The word not is going to tell you is a complement. So probability of an event is written P parentheses and the event. So like probability of getting a 6. So you write P6, the probability of getting a 6. Or if I said probability of a 3, you write P3. And it's saying, what is the probability of getting a 3? Is the measure of how likely the event is to occur? a number between 0 and 1. So probability is always a number between 0 and 1. Any number, so you can have 0 0.5, 0 0.44, 0 0.38, 1. You cannot have 1.7 or you can't have negative numbers. Um, probability can be written as a ratio. Remember ratio is your fraction. Decimal or percent. So here is a graph kind of tells you what the probability is. So the impossible, so it is impossible to win if you have a 0%, zero percent, zero decimal, or um, zero over whatever number. Okay, that is impossible. You cannot win at all. Unlikely is any number between that is greater than zero, so greater than zero and less than 50% or 0.5. Okay, unlikely is point, so any number that's greater than zero or less than 50% is unlikely. In the middle is your 0 0.25. 0 0.25 in fraction you should know is 1 fourth or 25%. Exactly in the middle is called equally likely. In your math book they like to say as likely as not. So you might see in the book as likely as not. Okay, And that is when you are, have exactly 50%. So there's a 50-50 chance, just like flipping a coin, you have a 50-50 chance of landing on tails or heads. Okay, likely is any number that is greater than 50% or less than 100%. So greater than 50% and less than 100%. So likely is any of those. And certain means that it is 100% certain that you are going to win. So here's your steps. Determine the probability for the event. The numerator is the number of times the event occurs. And the denominator is always the total number of events. Use the scale above to determine the likeliness of the event. The direction in the book you'll find is determine whether each event is impossible, unlikely, equally likely, likely, or certain. So let's try example. Example one. 
rolling an even number of an even number on a die. Should be on. Okay. Well, list all the numbers on a die. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So how many numbers are on a die? Total number on a die is six. This is your always your total. And usually it tells you whatever is the ending is your total. Okay, it says rolling an even number. So here I'm going to circle all my even numbers. How many numbers did you circle? Well, you should have said three. So three, six is your, is your ratio. You can reduce that to one half. Now convert your one half to decimal, which is 0.5 and then convert that to percent, which is 50%. Now looking at 50%, is it impossible, unlikely, likely, equally likely, or uh, certain? Well, you, if it's exactly at 50%, you should know that is equally likely. Okay, try number two on your own, and when you're ready, push play. So rolling a six on a number cube. So same thing as number one. You write one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is your denominator because that's the total no number of events uh, possible. And then six, you circle. So there's only one circle. One sixth is your ratio. Your decimal, if you divide it, Six doesn't go into one, but add your decimal and three zeros. Six goes into 10 once. Six goes into 40 six times. Six goes into 40. So this six is gonna tell this six to go up. So your decimal is 0.17. And your percent is 17%. So now looking at your percent and decimal or your fraction, is it impossible, unlikely, equally likely, likely, or certain? Well, you know it's in between zero and 50%, so this would be unlikely. So now here it says pick a red candy out of, a, out of black and white candy. Well, here's your denominator. The word of tells you that's your denominator. Remember, is over of. So you have your black and white and you're picking out is red. Okay, so if you only have black and white, can you pick out a red candy? No, so this is 0%, which means it's impossible. Okay, looking at four and five. The probability of rolling a one or two on a number cube is one third. What is the probability of not? This is your complement. Remember, in probability, we want it to make it equal to 1. So here, if we want 1 minus 1 third, this is where you, they give you the story. Okay? But now we've got to change this to a fraction. So to change this, you look at the denominator and you write 3 over 3 minus 1 third, and that equals 2 thirds. So your not, or your complement, is 2 thirds. Everything has to equal 1. So problem 5 is very similar to problem 4, except instead of a fraction, it is in decimal. See if you can do, try number 5 on your own, and when you're ready, push play. All right, so you should have taken the point 8. The not is your subtraction, and you're always going to subtract it by 1. So 1 minus point 8, and the answer is point 2, and that's, that is your not green. All right, here's your example. There are three greens, one purple, so three greens, one purple, six reds, five orange, and I know the orange looks different color because it looks like pink, and five yellows. Okay, so it says, what is the probability of getting a red. Well, how many reds are there? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six reds. What, remember, denominator is your total. So what is the total number of Skittles there? Well, you should have said 20. Reduce this and you'll get 
three tenths. That's your ratio. Your decimal is 0.3 and your percent is 30 percent. Now, is it impossible, unlikely, equally likely, likely, or certain? Well, this is unlikely because it is between 0 and 50 percent. Try to do 7 and 8 on your own. Okay, so 7 tells you, I'm going to bring it down so you can see the numbers. 7, there's 5 orange, your total number is 20. Reduce that and you'll get 1 fourth. 1 fourth you should know in decimals 0.25 and percent is 25 percent. The number is between 0 and 50 percent so it is unlikely. Okay, number eight is exactly like number seven. There's five, five yellows, the total is 20, reduce that is one fourth, decimal is 0.25, percent is 25 percent, and it is unlikely. Okay, number nine is slightly different, only by a little bit. Number nine says purple or green. The word or tells you to add. You have to know that or tells you to add. So purple, there's one purple, denominator is 20, plus green, there is three greens, denominator is still 20, equals 4 twentieths. Reduce that, and you'll get 1 fifth. 1 fifth in decimal is 0.2, and percent is 20%. 20% is between 0 and 50%, so it is unlikely.